Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are back with one more episode for Friday Friendship Tangles, which is an ongoing series on my YouTube channel where every Friday I pick two tangles and create a project out of that. And the tangles that I have chosen for today are Kula Kane and August. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce Kula Kane, but um, <laughs> I came across the tangle recently and so that's what I'm covering in today's project. Now for the color combination, I'm actually going to be using something similar to what you see on the left side of my journal. And this is actually one of the five projects that I teach in my color pencil and graphite shading class, which you can find the link to in the description box below. And uh, in that class, I dive deeper into exactly how I choose my supplies, do's and don'ts, uh, some tips and tricks, uh, mistakes to avoid and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested to check out the detailed version, then you will find the links um, to the class in the description box below. But for today's project, I am going to be doing a similar color combination so that you kind of get like a little taste of what it is to create something with graphite pencils as well as with color pencils together in the same project. And um, also because I wanted my pages on the journal <laughs> to match each other. Um, yeah, that's just my sketchbook fantasy to have all my pages look very aesthetic. So yeah, I just wanted the right side to match the left side to look like really nice aesthetic together, which is why I'm going to be doing this for today's project. Okay, so let's dive right in. I'm going to start with the tangle August and then move on to doing Kulakane. And uh, yeah, let's just dive in. As you can probably make out, August is inspired by flowers, very similar to calla lilies. And so what I'm basically trying to do is create different versions of the same flower or the same tangle in this case. And basically trying to create three petal variations, four petal variations, simple buds, um, single petal variations and that kind of stuff, just so that there is a lot of variety on the project. You can of course add leaves and other kinds of fillers over here to make it look like a proper bouquet and you can add all kinds of details to this tangle and make it look like a realistic plant as well but because I want to stick to creating just a project with two tangles I am refraining from adding too many details on the stems and instead I am letting the tangle be the focal point actually. So I am going to have most of the emphasis and focus on this tangle which is August and that's why I am not kind of branching out things from the stems but yeah if you are doing a detailed project you can totally choose to add more fillers and maybe have some leaves coming out from the stems and do all kinds of interesting stuff. Now I'm just adding some tiny details just to give the tangle a little bit more character so to say. You can add some line weight, add some rounding, do all kinds of interesting things to make the tangle pop and for it to have a more stylized decorative look. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that finishes up August and now I'm going to start with the next tangle which is Kula Kane. Again, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it. If you know the pronunciation, please put that for me in the comments box below. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to link the step out for it in the description box. So if you're interested to find out what exactly um, the story behind it is or who created the tangle and all of those details then you can definitely check out the link in the description box there are many different ways in which you can do kulakane but the version that I'm choosing today is this one, which kind of resembles cinnamon sticks. it's time to start shading so for the background I'm gonna be using a graphite pencil to do the shading and for the foreground in which we have this beautiful flower like tangle called August I'm gonna be using color pencils Okay, so once I've finished the graphite shading, I'm moving on to adding the color pencils. And because I'm working on a journal which is made of handmade paper, it has a very textural quality and feel to it. So you can see that some of the paper green or the paper threads are sort of coming out as I'm adding my color pencil layers. And so I can't add too much of this, but I can definitely uh, layer at least a couple of times on each of the elements. And so I'm just basically playing with my color pencils to get the right look over here. Now, of course, if you are working on a smoother paper, then you won't face this challenge but i kind of like working on these handmade paper or upcycled paper sketchbooks and i quite like the feel of them which is why i do all my experiments and um, all my uh, personal projects inside these sketchbooks mm.
the trick is to basically not overdo it otherwise the paper texture and the grain uh, just pulls out and it just starts to create a more hair like feeling on top of your paper and instead of doing that we basically want to create a burnished look so yeah the trick is to not overdo it and if you are also working on a textured paper surface like me or if you also have handmade paper with you then another tip is to not have your pencils to a complete point because then the friction will start to cause tears on the paper and the abrasion will cause some damage to the surface and instead of that if you want a fully burnished look with your color pencils then just keep them to a slight point and basically just keep them slightly blunt and not to an exact point and that should do the trick of uh, getting you the burnished look and feel without damaging your paper. Alright, so that finishes up our project for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope that you recreate this project and share a picture with me. And if you do recreate this project, please don't forget to tag me over here on YouTube as well as on other social media channels. I look forward to meeting you all very very soon and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye bye!